Okay, so we've seen that the angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees and that we can use that to rearrange the angles into sort of a semicircle so that the rotation produces a straight line there and that it doesn't matter that what we do to the triangle that the three angles inside the triangle always add to 180. So let's think about what happens when we, instead of having three sides, have four sides to our shape. And a four-sided shape has got the name of a quadrilateral. So a square and a rectangle are a type of quadrilateral. So they've got four sides. The quad just means four. So if we think about a shape like this, we're trying to work out the sum of all the angles inside this four-sided shape. And a good way to think about that is to just to join a diagonal from one side of the quadrilateral to the other. So we'll just do that here. And as soon as we do that, we can see that we've actually made two triangles. And because we know that the angle sum of each triangle is 180 degrees, so the angle sum of each of these is 180, then that basically tells us that the angle sum of the whole shape is just going to be adding up all the angles in these triangles, because if we think about it, we can start here, we can go around and can add on the angle there, and then the angle in the red triangle, and so on. And if we add all those angles up, it's just going to be twice the angle sum, because we're just adding up all the angles in our two triangles. So that will give us 2 times 180, or 360. Now that also suggests a visual way to inspect this again. So in the same way that we're able to rearrange the angles in a triangle into that half circle, the fact that the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360, it suggests that we should be able to position them into a full circle or a full revolution. If we have a look at that, we can just can slide these over and can rotate them into position and we see that we can actually get the angles in the quadrilateral to add together to form a circle. And it doesn't matter then what sort of quadrilateral we choose as long as the lines don't cross each other, because if they were to do that, then that's not a, a four-sided shape, that's just two triangles now, but as long as it's a four-sided shape, it doesn't matter then which one we choose, we can always can reposition the angles in such a way to show that they add to 360. So that's the visual way to see it. We also can see it with the calculations of the values, so we can see the angle sizes now and if we add up those angles then as you probably expect by now it will give us 360 degrees so that's an interesting way to see visually the angle sum is showing us here that these angles always add to 360 and we can demonstrate that by positioning them beside each other like that